The first freight train traveling from China to Britain has just arrived in London following that 19-day trip. Now, the service is part of the Chinese president's One Belt, One Road vision. Some are calling it the New Silk Road. Now, the train left the town of Iwu on the first day of 2017. It passed through Kazakhstan and Russia uh, before cutting straight through Europe. And then it crossed the channel and arrived at the British capital just a few minutes ago. Now, earlier I spoke with Jin Yong Tsai, a partner at the private equity firm TPG Capital. He's also the former head of the World Bank's investment arm. And he started by asking whether this cargo train is a symbol of things to come in China's trade with the UK and the rest of the world. The Chinese only experience, have, they have learned the best way to create economic growth is to create good jobs. And uh, when you look at the world, particularly in the emerging economies, what has been the most uh, critical impediment for economic growth is lack of infrastructure. One example would be like Indonesia, 260 million people. The total installed power capacity is so small. And without basic infrastructure, you can't create wealth. You cannot create effective demand. So the Chinese is trying to kind of use their own experience, leverage their own capital, and they're trying to get involved in helping those countries to get wealthier so they can become customer of Chinese products. And in doing that, uh, the, the, they feel, uh, the Chinese feel, you know, everyone will be uh, better off. Mm. China's cargo train is rolling into London just after the Chinese President Xi Jinping made that landmark address at Davos, Switzerland, sort of positioning China as a champion and defender of globalization. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about a one belt, one road, China's desire to invest in infrastructure projects to create new consumers for Chinese products, right? Yes. But then you also have the flip side, you know, China's protectionist policies at home. So Xi Jinping may talk about globalization on the podium, but is he going to budge on policy? I think, you know, when you look at the uh, uh, government, their policy, their initiatives, and particularly in uh, allowing not only foreign capital, uh, also the private capital in China, to get into a certain sector uh, in financial services, one of them, and there are a few other sectors. I think the intentions there, the execution has been uneven. So this is indeed, I think, given President Xi's uh, speech, and people are going to look forward to seeing the action, the execution. Mm -hmm. You know, I do uh, expect there will be further liberalization in the sectors which has been uh, difficult for investors who, to get in. Uh, in Xi Jinping's speech, he also had this pretty thinly veiled rebuke of Donald Trump when he said, no one wins in a trade war. What's your thinking about the relationship between U.S. and China under Xi Jinping and Donald Trump? I think there will be some kind of a learning at the beginning yeah. to figure out how to deal with each other. But I'm feel, I feel reasonably optimistic because the reality uh, requires two countries to work together. Mm. And I, I do agree with President Xi's statement. There's no winner in fighting a trade war. Yeah. yeah and finally, a, a question about what comes next after TPP. You know, the trade pact is effectively on ice. Um, it, it's an opportunity for China to fill the vacuum with its own rival trade pact. Should the U.S. be concerned? I'm not too sure it's a rival, actually. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you follow this. Uh, after the initial kind of hesitation, yeah. the Chinese was very supportive to TPP. They said, once you uh, conclude that converse, uh, negotiation, we would like to see if we can join as well. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel um, uh, it's not really a kind of a zero sum in this. There are yes. different type of arrangement. And uh, who knows what's going to happen to TPP. Maybe, uh, you know, U.S. Would, would pick it up again. Yeah. So. Okay, so you're hopeful. So it's in suspended animation. It could come back. I, I think there will be some kind of a trade arrangement. Is that going to be called TPP or whatever the other name? Uh, is less important. It's more of a what is the essence. I think creating a more uh, like smoother trade relationship and uh, creating uh, the, uh, the market environment is critical for every country to, to create the economic growth.